On the anniversary of his election, President Trump tweeted a picture of himself with top advisors and offered congratulations to the deplorables who gave him the win. One year later, how's he doing with his supporters? Here's Dean Reynolds. And you've been here for how long? In the years since the election, we've spoken to a variety of Trump supporters from Iowa to Ohio, Illinois to Indiana, Michigan, Arizona, and Wisconsin, all of them joined by their common devotion to the man in the White House. So it was today in Davies County, Kentucky, which Donald Trump won by more than 30 points. Oh, well, yeah, you're doing all right. And down at Dee's Diner in Owensboro, support for the president is holding firm. He's had to fight his way through everything. Bill James is a registered Democrat. Nobody gives him benefit of the doubt. We wanted to know what kept these men with Mr. Trump. What accomplishment were you looking for? A re repeal of Obamacare and tax cuts. Wayne Greenwell acknowledged that neither has happened. But you don't blame the president. No. Oh, no. Oda Schaus is a local preacher. The strength that he exudes, determination. I could not be happier with anybody. Eric Belcher is still with Mr. Trump despite this. What's his major accomplishment, would you say? Um, none at the moment. I think it's all just uh, been packed full of publicity and stunts. They couldn't care less about the Mueller investigation or North Korea. Trump is tough enough for both, said Belcher, just like his old football coach. He was hard, he was stern. If you screwed up, he would drill you in the head with a 100 mile an hour football. The men here said Mr. Trump may not be a role model, but he's a fighter, their fighter. And to his supporters around the country, that's enough to keep them in his corner. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Owensboro, Kentucky. Dean Reynolds still riding the Trump train.